Do you want to make it rain in your levels? Today, we are going to learn a simple trick to create rainy levels, and we are starting right now. So how did we make this little trick work? Well, we're actually just using icicles at the very top of the screen. And because they're out of view, instead of falling down on the player, it actually just creates a rain effect for us, which is very nice for the visual aspects. It gives us another, another visual element to work with when we're creating levels. So something to keep in mind though, is the icicles, if you have the player climb too high, then the icicles will start falling on you. The second that they're in the camera view, they're gonna start falling and, and interacting like icicles. So what you have to do is make sure that they are at least in one camera view above the camera. So I know that's a little bit confusing, but if you look at these dark lines, the camera is gonna be looking here. But the second you go above, start moving above this point, the camera is gonna start moving up. And then once the icicles are visible within the camera view, that's when they're gonna start falling. So what you gotta do is make sure, if you wanna use this rain effect, but don't want the icicles to fall, you gotta make sure that the, the camera doesn't reach all the way towards the icicles so that they start falling. So I would recommend keeping all of the, the elements down in the lower part of the course if you can to keep that camera from moving too far up. Um, okay, so uh, one cool thing that you can do with this is you can actually spread out the icicles to give the illusion that it's getting heavier rain as you go. So we're gonna start with every third icicle, then it'll be every other, and then it'll be our uh, all the icicles right next to each other. So let's see what that looks like now that we have that illusion of rain. So on the very left, it's kind of, it's, it's drizzling, it's not too bad, and then over here, it's like, okay, it's getting a little bit heavier, but now when we get to this point, it's every single column is raining here. So very cool way to uh, give the illusion that the rain is picking up if you wanna do that. Um, one, one idea that I had with this idea is to make it feel like the water is flooding. So you guys are welcome to steal this idea, but if you do, let me know what you do with it. You can actually have the water level rise as it's raining so that it feels like the rain is causing a flood. As you can see, the water's coming up a little bit, the rain's going, and as we move on, it's getting heavier and heavier rain. So that's one really cool idea that you could do with it to make it feel like um, the rain is actually interacting with your level which I think is very cool. Um, and then really quick, I also wanna show you what it looks like in a, in a vertical subworld. So because you have to keep the camera at a certain point, um, just be aware that if you put it at the very top of the vertical subworld, it's not gonna work. So right here is another example of getting the rain to start at certain times. So look here, we've got icicles on the left and the very right in the normal spot. So this is one full camera length above, but not above this dark line that it wouldn't work. So if you look here now, we are on the left and right, the rain is happening. You can see the rain on the left and right of our giant platform, but you can't see anything happening on the platform until we start going up. So that, that whole icicles idea of making sure that they're in a certain spot, you can actually utilize this to your advantage and make it so that it only starts raining when the player reaches a certain point. Um, and I have a really cool idea, hopefully I'll make a, uh, a level about this before you guys can steal my idea, but my idea is maybe the player is in a desert and goes through and um, gets to a certain section, so that's why we have this yay sound effect, and then it starts raining in the desert, and then once the, the rain happens, they go into a pipe and now all of a sudden everything's green and happy. So they essentially they're turning a dry wasteland into a beautiful lush forest with their, with their rain abilities. So 
some really cool ideas that you can do with uh, this concept here, but I wanna know what ideas you have for rain in a level. Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to watch our Mario Maker 2 playlist for more helpful tips to improve as a level creator. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.